Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. This is episode eight. And by that title, you know we have a heavy conversation today. Today I do have a guest, my love. He's going to be in on the conversation. I can't talk about this without him. So, yes, I'm very nervous to talk about this. She's nervous. I'm excited. I finally <laughs> get to come on this podcast. <sighs> y'all, I'm letting y'all in my bedroom right now. It doesn't get any more transparent than this, okay? So we're going to talk about our celibacy journey and basically how it changed the dynamic of our relationship. So let's just get right into it. I guess we can start at the beginning, um, why we started. What made us go celibate? <laughs> you want to give them the rundown of that? Okay, so <laughs> if, of course you probably don't know this, but on Sundays we watch Transformation Church, especially since we've moved away from home. You know, we grew up in church in our city. So moving to a different city and state, you know, you kind of struggle, I guess, trying to find the church home. And where we moved to, it's really not that many churches out here, to be honest. You know, in Memphis, it, it's a church on every corner. Every corner in Memphis. <laughs> and But that's just excuses, honestly. Yeah, we found, but, we found a way. We, we found a way. Yeah. That worked for us. Yeah. So we watch Transformation Church um, coached by Pastor Mike Todd. <laughs> Not coached. <laughs> He's awesome. Um, we've been watching him for, I don't know, maybe three years. Three years now, yeah. Three years. We actually kind of started watching him a little bit while we were still in Memphis, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. And we had to figure out something else to do. Mm -hmm. So we started watching them. Yeah. Throughout COVID, so... And so we move, and of course, you know, that's what we were comfortable with, and that's what we kept doing. So on Sundays, we listen to Mike Todd mm -hmm. at, Tr at Transmission Church on YouTube. Yep. Mike Todd, he has a lot of guest speakers to, to come into the church and, and preach on live stream and everything. And he had one gentleman, I can't remember his name I at think the it moment. Was, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was Tim Ross. Tim Ross. But I could be mistaken. But that's beside the point. I'm not going to act like that I remember. <laughs> that's beside the point. <laughs> I'm not going to act like that I remember. But um, he came in with a sermon that was titled, Help, I'm Horny. Mm -hmm. And he went like super deep with it. And it's still on YouTube. You can still find that video to this day. And it might change some of your lives. And in fact, if it's something, if celibate is something that you're really considering, it's definitely going to start turning some gears in your head and yeah. the Holy Spirit is going to start speaking to you in a different way like it did with us. And the crazy part is during that sermon, we weren't even watching it together. Yeah. I was out working. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. out working and I was uh, working remotely. So I'm driving around and stuff and I just had the video playing in the car. Yeah. So we weren't even together watching this. Mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> But we do that often. We'll watch mm -hmm. the sermons separately, but we'll be texting like, ooh, yeah. that was for me. Ooh, it's yeah. not for me. So that's what we were doing during this sermon. We were just kind of texting each other. And I remember us texting each other like, like eyeballs. Like, yeah. It was an eyeballs type of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in our relationship at that time, we were good, but it was kind of a time where we were healing for, from some things and I, I don't know how he feels, but I think we feel the same, but I just felt like sex was complicating things because when you're in a relationship and you have issues, sometimes naturally you revolt to sex mm -hmm. to solve that problem when it's not really... It's like a cover up or yeah, it's not intentional, but yeah. it happens. Like people use sex to cover up the problem, so I felt like I don't know. Let's try to stop covering up the actual problems with sex by just removing mm -hmm. sex altogether. So that's how that got started. The sermon really came at like a perfect time, like and <clears throat> honestly, like we really didn't even have to think about it. Like oh. it was just like a mutual agreement. We we need to do this. Yeah, and. And that's what we did and you know it literally came at the perfect time yeah and 
you know, I thank God that it, it came when it came. You know, I never thought that I would be on the journey like this in my entire life. Like, <laughs> never thought. Like, never thought. But yeah. as we get older and as we get wiser and as your relationship and the dynamic of your relationship with God starts to change, you start realizing things in a different way. You start looking at things in a different way. And with us just being in a whole different city without our families, you no, know, it, it was just us. So whatever we were going through, whatever we had to get through, you know, it, it was just it us. Was us. We just had to make things happen. And God came in at the perfect time and pretty much changed our lives for the better. Yeah. I really, I don't. I don't regret I don't regret I don't regret <laughs> the decision at all um at all like at all it's hard I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's easy I'm not gonna mm -hmm. sit here and tell you our journey has been perfect but I don't know it's just it definitely it makes your relationship stronger mm -hmm. we don't because like I said that band-aid is out now you you can't result to sex to heal you you can't result to sex to cover up an issue that you may have you can't result to sex to say I'm sorry, to mm -hmm. apologize. There's no makeup. Mm -hmm. Like there's you literally have to go through your problems. You have to figure out new ways to tackle these issues inside of your relationship. I definitely feel like it has made us stronger in a different way. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. What it's thing, hard to explain. One thing I should really add is, you know, this decision that we made <clears> wasn't <throat> just based upon solely issues that we may have had or anything, you yeah. know. We feel like that it's a calling from God upon our lives. Mm -hmm. And we know the more that we live for him, the more it gives him the ability to open up doors for us and blessings to come into our lives. And which has happened. That's something that he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're not married, we shouldn't be having sex. And that's what the Lord says. And it's in the Bible. And that's what we want to live by because that's what we stand for yeah and I really feel like it allowed us to focus on bigger things by removing that um, so not only did it change the dynamic of our relationship together but spiritually it it changed the dynamic of our relationship with God um, we were just able to come to him with different things and actually feel a little cleaner now we're not perfect people i'm not saying that oh we don't do this 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 is this we're not perfect but i don't know i just felt a little cleaner when i come to god now since i'm not doing those things and we mm -hmm. also come to god together and it just feels different mm -hmm. um like he said i don't know in that moment when we were watching the sermon it was one of those things where it was no question and usually when there's no question God is probably somewhere in it. Um, it's the Holy Spirit literally yeah, speaking to you without you even realizing us. it. Mm -hmm. And and I, I should also add this. Um, like, the longer you do it, the easier it gets. For like, sure. It really gets a lot easier down the line. And I'm, I'm just thankful for that. You know, never thought that I'd be doing something like this in my life. And, yeah. and it's been great. So let's talk about, um, at first we weren't telling people, <laughs> but of course, you know, naturally the conversation of sex always comes up with people mm -hmm. and everybody always looks at us like, wait, yeah. what? Are you for real? Every time a conversation comes <laughs> up and, you know, we're forced to give some sort of an answer, even though I feel like maybe we should be more open with it. Mm -hmm. I mean... I don't mind anyone knowing. It's just not something we just go out, you know, advertising. Yeah. It's like, just kind of weird. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Every time, like, that came up in the conversation, people are always just like, what? Yeah. What? Huh? I what? still think some people that know probably yeah. still don't believe yeah. us. But <laughs> Yeah, like, it's insane. Like, your friends, you know, co-workers even. Yeah, like, family. They're, they're just, family too, yeah. They're just like, huh, what? How do you do that? Like, huh? <laughs> um, of course, my mom knows, and she's my mom is actually proud. Like, mm -hmm. she's one of the few people who are actually proud of us for doing this. Mm -hmm. and, I believe a lot yeah. of people are proud of us. Mm -hmm. um, friends tell us all the time, "Well, I'm proud of y'all, cause y'all doing mm -hmm. it. I don't know how you're doing it, but I'm proud of y'all." Yeah. 
And yeah, 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 this we, is true. Yeah, yeah, we don't have anybody in our lives that's just like, don't do it. Why are you doing it? Oh, you that? crazy. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. it's not like that. It's yeah. more of like a surprise. Like, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, everybody's really supportive. Um, nobody's treating us different. Like, we're still mm. ourselves. Yeah. It's just something we're refraining from until, you know, the day comes where we're not refraining from mm -hmm. it anymore. <laughs> I've gone. I've actually gone in depth with some of my uh, closest friends, you know, on the topic after I've told them that we were celibate. When it gets to the point to where I'm telling somebody my story, the hope is that they're just like, oh, wow, maybe I should try this, you know, but yeah. <laughs> it hasn't really been that way. But mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're, we're still where we stand with it. We're just know. trying to, and we never want to come off forceful. So I, Absolutely. I think that's one of the reasons I refrain from talking about it sometimes is because I don't want you to think that I'm coming off as you need to do this. You need to follow God. You need to do this. I want you to see God through me and see God through my journey. Mm -hmm. So... I'm, I'm going to tell you about my life. I'm going to tell you about the journey and whatever you feel from it, whatever you get from it, I hope that you get a little bit of God from it. And maybe it opened up your mind to do things differently and to see things differently mm -hmm. so that maybe one day, even if it's not a God thing for you, maybe just a personal journey for you. Mm -hmm. It can also help you personally because like I said, you can't figure out things with sex anymore. You can't result to that anymore. You can't have that distraction in your life anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of think about how people um, that smoke weed a lot. I listen to a guy talk about how he stopped smoking weed and he just became a little more focused on a lot of other things that he couldn't focus on because weed was in his life. And that took up time, that took up energy, that took up his, his mind, his thoughts. So removing sex can help you personally, but not only spiritually. So... Yeah, I, I mean, I just talk about it and hopefully you get something from it. Something positive Absolutely. from the conversation. thousand percent. That's, that's, she hit it right on the head with yeah. that. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm still just, there is also like a sense of pride. It's just like, they, the person I'm telling is just like, wow, you're doing that, you know. <laughs> You know, you feel kind of good. It's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Big dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, um, we're deep into our relationship together several years, actually. And, you know, eventually at some point, your boy going to be putting a ring on that thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she don't know when, but oh. hey, that time is coming, you know, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Um, but we have, just for context, we've been on this journey for like a year and... A year and a half. A year and a half About now. a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Yep. The first few months, I think, are the hardest. Yeah. Definitely. It's the hardest to be disciplined in the decision. Um, you definitely have temptation to go back into your old ways and mm -hmm. do those things. I say the first three months are going to be the hardest three months. But eventually you figure out, I don't know, ways to avoid mm -hmm. or ways to get your mind off of that. It's just like an addiction. Yeah. It, it's literally just like an addiction. Um, you decide to stop, but that doesn't mean your body doesn't it, want that yeah. thing again. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a perfect example. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and at some point, the... Further, well, at the point to where you know that's something that you want to do, and like in your heart, you know this is what you want to do. You know that you want to be celibate until you're married. The Holy Spirit will literally like convict you like mm -hmm. harder because it's like you you really do know better at this point, and you're doing yourself a disservice mm -hmm. by messing up. Yeah, you'll know, mm -hmm. you'll feel it. Oh, so how do you feel that it has changed our relationship? Well, for one, I definitely find us using different methods, you know, to still get closer and mm -hmm. to get to know each other. I mean, like, we still are literally getting to know each other yeah. and, like, our relationship is, it's, it's still fun, even though we work a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when the time allows, like, we try to do stuff, we try to go and have fun, like, today, you know, we finally get a day off together, we're finna go do some things, we're mm -hmm. finna go outside and... You know, go get some good food, maybe go walk somewhere, you know, yeah. weather permitting. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, like we 
of course, those are things that we were already doing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, these times, like, moments like this, being able to do stuff together matter more. You really start to appreciate these times more mm -hmm. just in a different way. Like, you feel it in your heart. It's like, man, I really love her. Mm -hmm. And, like, your love for that person really enhances knowing that you can't just use your bodies mm -hmm. to show somebody that you love them. Yeah, you know, you have to like, use other ways. And, yes, you know. I, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely not using just you're not using sex to show emotion. Mm -hmm. You're actually have to, having to find different actions to show emotion, mm -hmm. which I feel like is the biggest thing for us in our relationship. Yeah. It was a challenge for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to start thinking. Yeah. Outside the box. Yeah. But I'm grateful for that because mm -hmm. it's allowed us to grow in a different way that we probably would not have grown. Yeah. Like. And I definitely feel like it, it help, it's helping us long term. Mm -hmm. We have more. I don't know. Our relationship is just, mm -hmm. it's more than that. And, and with this, like, I feel like years down the line, I'll feel comfortable preaching this to our children, mm -hmm. you know, and being able to say, we did it. At, at some point in our lives, we started this and we did it. Mm -hmm. And look at us, look what God has done for us today. Look what God has given you because at some point in our lives, we're, we're gonna be wealthy and that's yeah. the plan. And we know that that's gonna be through nobody but God and mm -hmm. things like this is how he wants us to get closer to him so that he can open those avenues to us yep i definitely feel like god wants he wants to give you good things he wants to give you an abundant life and but you have to listen to him you mm -hmm. have to do what he's calling you to do he might not be calling you to celibacy that might not be your your journey that might not be your purpose but whatever he's calling you to if he's calling you to i don't know volunteer somewhere you have to do what god is calling you to in order for him to open the doors that he has for you so that's mm -hmm. one big thing for us we just want to continue to do what he has called us to do so that we don't miss out on the blessings that he has for us I, that's what keeps me going on the journey. I don't want to miss out on the blessing. Mm -hmm. um, I know a thousand percent. we're meant to be together. We're here for a reason. <clears throat> we're going to be good. Our relationship is going to grow. But ultimately, whatever God has for me, I want that. So I'm going to keep going on this journey for as long as he needs me to. For as long as you make me. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna keep going to get what God has for me. Um, and it's just it just gets easier over time. It gets it easier the when you figure out the actual purpose of the journey. It gets easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guarantee it. It is something that God wants in all of our lives. It's just something that you do have to be ready for if you're considering it. Yeah. But just know that it is possible and it can be done. It is possible. Mm -hmm. Anything else you have on your celibacy journey? Anything else you want to give the people? Man, uh, really, I just want to, if you're a man out there, for sure, I'm talking to you guys specifically, you're probably just like, man, no way. Ain't no way, <laughs> man. Ain't no way. I got too much motion going right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, you just don't know what God can do for you in your life until you start to follow what he wants you to do. Hey, consider it. Check out the sermon. It's called Help, I'm Horny. Yeah, I'll link it below. Yeah. I'll find it. I'll link it below on the video mm -hmm. version. Um, I'll try to link it below on the podcast version as well. <clears throat> but yeah, just check it out. It's going to change your life. Like, mm -hmm. it's really going to change the way you think. I'm talking about, man, just listen. It's only, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half type of sermon mm -hmm. you know uh you don't have to watch the uh the entire stream for that day you can you know just skip through and get to the sermon and i guarantee you that you're gonna get something out of that you know <laughs> hey i'm leaving for some. <laughs> <laughs> i'm leaving with some. <laughs> i'm leaving here for some. this is just another so when we talk about when i say be dynamic this is what I mean. It's not only, it's little things in your life that you have to change in order to create a better life. It's not only your attitude. It's not only your career. Your career. It's the way, mm -hmm. it's your mindset. It's the way you do certain things. It's what you do. Sometimes you have to go in and literally change little details in your life in order to get a bigger outcome, a better outcome. So I just want you guys to think about that. Um, whew, I'm, we finally got it out. Finally got this conversation over with. 
I guess it wasn't that hard, but um, I really pray that you guys got something good out of this. I hope that it touches you in some way. If it's not celibacy, whatever it is for you, I hope that you get the courage to start or stop whatever it is that you're supposed to start or stop. And that's it. That that's it. all we got for you. Continue to change, progress, grow, be dynamic. And I will see you guys in the next podcast episode. Make sure you check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com. You can also get to the podcast that way as well. Make sure you subscribe on any platform that you're listening to, whether it's YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Google, whatever. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you want and 